guys, it's Jess. I just wanted to share a quick Simon Says Stamp haul video as well as a Target haul, I guess. It was from their scrapbooking section, um, all Christmas items, and they were all on deep discount. So I wanted to share with you to see if you guys um, were interested and could pick up those before they're gone out of the store. So this was my Christmas present, um, and it was all from Simon Says Stamp. And I will share the stamps first. Um, they are almost all new hero art stamps. I got this cling set, this happy birthday wish big, and it comes with these, um, candles. This is, I don't love cling, um, I prefer clear, but sometimes it's nice to have the red rubber stamps just for different techniques, and, um, for sentiments it's not as big of a deal. And I really like the large scale of these sentiments. So this set is wish big candles. Then I picked up this one, it's my favorite. That's the title, although I do really like it. <laughs> um, and it comes with just different uh, quotes that you could use for sentiments. This really big, you are my favorite sentiment, which I like. And then this one that looks like it's taped with some faux washi tape, which is really cute. Then I got this love jar, 4x6. I don't have any um, jar stamps, and there's a few different techniques I wanted to try out with that, and I thought this one would be a good one. It also comes with this little sprig, which is cute. Um, this little half of a lemon or an orange, I suppose, that you could put in the jar, and then this flower, which is really cute, and the label, which could go onto the jar. So that's a really nice one as well. This is probably the most versatile one. It's the It's Your Day set. And it just comes with a bunch of different happy birthday sets. I really like these two that look like they're like old Hollywood, you know, lit up in the lights. And um, then just a bunch of, bunch of other sentiments. Birthday wishes, make a wish, my happy day. This would be fun to create your own background with um, and kind of piece these together. And then I have this tape your message. This one is a bunch of faux washi tapes as well as like maybe a little journaling um, box there. And this one looks like a big postage stamp and a little circle element there too. It's really cute. I really like this lace washi. That's really pretty. And then they have this plaid and this dot and the solid and the um, outline. So just a really fun one. I thought they were super smart to do that fake washi. It's really cute. Okay, then I got a one wood block stamp. This is the... Does it say? Um, oh, I don't see it on here, but I'm pretty sure it's the Everything Flowers. It's number S5638, So, but I'm pretty sure it's the Everything Flowers. And it would be super fun to do coloring techniques on um, watercolor, Prismacolor pencils, Copics. Um, you could do a lot with this one. It's just super pretty and would work for birthdays, Valentines, um, Thinking of You, Sympathy Cards. Very... Um, very good one. And then I got this one is a little more trendy. This is from Basic Gray and Hero Arts. This is the arrow background. And I thought um, arrows are really popular right now, which is um, fun. But I think it will last. It's a really, I don't know, it's almost like tribalish looking. I was thinking for Valentine's Day, um, a play on like Cupid's arrow would be kind of cute. So I thought that would be fun. Then I got, this is probably, I don't know, everyone's favorite from the release, this cling background. This is the hexagon background. Again, a very versatile one. Um, if you follow, she's Water Filter Love here on YouTube, um, and then over on her blog, it's brittaswiderski.com. I can put a link in the description box. But she has done, I think, either two or three cards using this stamp, and they're all super gorgeous. So I will link to those so you guys can check those out. Then I got a couple non-hero art sets. Um, I got this Paper Smooches sentiment set. I don't simply said. I really like the font that she uses for her stamps. And again, I really like the larger scale sentiments. I have a lot of the smaller sentiments, but sometimes it's nice just to really have them pop. And I really like having a lot of sentiment choices. And then for Valentine's, I got this little Lawn Fawn Be Mine. I thought it was really cute. Um, really simple, and you can do a lot just with this little set, so I will have more stuff about Valentine's Day coming up. It's going to be an exciting week um, over at my blogs, but I will talk about that here later, too. Okay, so finishing off the Simon Says Stamp stuff, I just got some Snow White. These are the note cards from Hero Arts just to use for a card basis. 
I picked up the Darling Deer Studio Calico Pad. This is um, has some really pretty colors in it. Um, and really pretty, I really like this emerald green kind of color. And um, apparently, according to Pantone, I think that's how you say it, um, emerald is the color for 2013. So I thought that would be kind of fun. I picked up some, actually this was from my last order, but they were out of stock, so they sent it with this one. This is the Eclipse uh, masking sheets, just used for different masking techniques. Some Be Creative sheets. These are double-sided, um, like, tape sheets, basically, clear tape sheets. And they allow you to do a lot of different techniques, but I'm planning on using them with this glitter that I picked up. This is the Glitter Ritz and Cool Highlight. I was planning to get the warm highlight, but they were out of stock, so no big deal. It's pretty much the same thing, and I'll probably be doing coloring over it, so it won't matter anyway. And then I think the rest is all paper, which isn't super exciting, but I'll share it anyway. Um, the Nina um, Desert Storm cardstock. This is just one of my favorite craft cardstocks. This is the, I haven't tried this yet, but this is the um, Simon Says Stamp 120 pound cardstock, and it's supposed to be super heavy. I want to try it with Copics just to see how it compares to the Nina Solar White and to use for card bases. <clears throat> excuse me, where I do like really um, uh, heavy embellishments or something just so it can withstand the weight of those. Then this is just a basil refill pack. This is the In Love, so it's reds and pinks. Again, I have something exciting planned for Valentine's Day, so those will be used up pretty quick. And then this is the green with Envy. I found myself using the teals a lot, so it just comes with a different assortment of the greens and then like the tealy colors as well. Oh, here's one more thing. <laughs> and then the um, picked raspberry distress ink. I've, I don't have all of the seasonal distress inks. I've kind of been picking them up here and there just based on what colors I want to fill out my color palette. And that was one that I really, I didn't really have a good pink distress ink. Okay, so that's all from Simon. Um, that was my Christmas present. So it was really fun to be able to pick up the Hero Art stamps since they had just come out, and they got that delivered to me before Christmas, which was amazing. If you haven't shopped with Simon Says Stamp, I'll have everything linked over on my blog, um, www.jesslarsendesign.com, and you can check them out. They pretty much have everything you would want in terms of stamping and card making and paper crafting, so it's, it's just so fun. Okay, so now on to the Target stuff. This was just some random things. I was there to look at their Christmas sales, and then I thought, I always swing through the scrapbook aisle, right, while you're there. And um, they had quite a few little sales. So I picked up these two Hero Arts um, tag sets. They come with 20 tags and then six stamps <laughs> and two little inks. I'm not sure. I don't think that's like Hero Arts ink. I think it's just a couple of random pigment inks. But I could be wrong. I've never used these before, so we'll see. But I think they would be so fun to just put away and take out next Christmas and maybe have my nieces and nephews over. I don't think, my son will only be one and a half, so I don't think he'll be quite ready to be stamping on tags, but maybe. Um, so we will have some fun stuff to do next year. And I believe these were $4, four, four fifty dollars maybe. Um, but if they don't run out, Target just keeps discounting their Christmas stuff. So if you can hold out, they'll probably get even cheaper. But I thought that was a pretty good value for everything you got in that little kit. So I also got some um, ribbon from American Crafts, some glitter ribbon. Again, I could use this on cards or packages next year, just depending on what I have. And then this is um, some also from American Crafts. More like trimmings, I guess, with this little um, red tassel -y one. And then you just have some girl grain and some silver and Merry Christmas and polka dot. So that's cute. And I also picked up, they had a paper pack there. This is from Crate Paper. This is the Peppermint. And it was $2.98, so it was half off. Um, and I think a lot of these aren't exclusively Christmas, like that one in particular, that one. Actually, most of these aren't exclusively Christmas. That one with the ornaments, obviously, would be wood grain, chevron. But almost all of these you can use any time of year. And a couple of them I thought would be particularly good for Valentine's Day cards because there are a lot of pinks and reds in there. So it was a fun one. 
And then just a couple more things. This is just kind of a side note. If you need tape, like all of their scotch tape is half off too. So I always pick up a couple rolls after Christmas. Okay, and then I got this Kane Company washi tape. I've never used the Kane Company tape. I don't know like the quality of it or anything, but it was only $1.48 for two rolls, which is pretty good. And these are pretty Christmassy. I don't think I would use them other times of year. Maybe that one. Um, not that one, though, because it has reindeer on it. But they're really, really cute. So hopefully those will be nice. And then I picked up these two card sets from American Crafts as well. Um, Holly card kits, they're called. And they come with the materials to make eight cards. So you get the card bases, um, this little, like, newspaper or dictionary printed... Um, piece and then this little scalloped it's already pre-stamped you get the little leaves you just fold them up and then the little um, gems and you stick those on and they were $3.98 and I got two of them and I think I mean at this point I think I might actually use these for my Christmas cards next year which sounds pretty bad when I have all this other stuff that I could design my own but I just I didn't even have time to make any this year <laughs> so I didn't send out any Christmas cards so I thought, you know, doing it this way would be better than not doing it at all. And these are really, really cute. I like them a lot. So we'll see. Even if they don't get used um, as Christmas cards, I can definitely use the card bases and the gems. But I'm pretty sure I will do this. So remind me next year before I forget. Okay, that's it. That's all I got um, for Christmas and then as well as from Target. And I hope you guys all had a really Merry Christmas and are excited to go into the new year and create some beautiful things. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.